It's me, your friendly neighborhood humble stroke assaulter. So today we're going to discuss post-stroke headaches. Um, that does not include people that suffer from uh, the pain-related disorders after a stroke, which we'll discuss at a later video. Right now we're just going to discuss post-stroke headache. Now, the reason why I'm going to discuss this is because I was in emergency on Sunday uh, due to a headache that was different in nature and quality than I've had since my stroke. Since my stroke, I've had a, a pretty much like in the back of the head sort of throbbing kind of tension headache. Um, that's the thing, right? Uh, unfortunately, the cause of post-stroke headache isn't really clear. Now, let me just give a warning. For those of you that end up after a stroke, with the worst headache of your life like all of a sudden you BAM get a headache and it goes to 11 dial 911 maybe an indicator you're having another event right not necessarily but if you suddenly magically just get that headache out of the middle of nowhere that just has no reason for it to occur and magically is the worst headache of your entire life and it goes to 11 and guess what you need to dial 911 so the headache i've had since my stroke on a scale of one to ten it's been a one or a two pretty consistently the headache i had on sunday was pretty debilitating i spent most of the day in bed uh i went to emergency when the pain got to like a six and the headache kind of went all around my head and then ended up in my right sort of ear area and it felt like someone sort of jabbing something sharp into my ear every so often um the hospital's decent you know they treated me really well uh they were hesitant to give me certain medications uh mainly because i've had already had a stroke so they gave me an iv medication to let the headache go away um had the headache non gone had not gone away i would have had another ct scan so, uh, so we're going to discuss post-stroke headache. Now, not everyone that has a stroke has a headache, right? Some people will have a stroke and they will have a headache with it and some won't. So when you, there was a study done and I'll include a link to it. Um, there's a questionnaire sent out to 256 patients, 222 of them responded. 12% um, reported persistent headache. Right? That, and so 12, 1 in 10, right? 50% um, of that said it was a tension, -like, tension type headache. Um, a third of them said it was a migraine-like headache, and a little over 5% said it was due to med medication overuse. Okay. Uh, and more than half of the patients said it was moderate to severe in pain. So, 1 in 10, right? Think about it. 1 in 10. So... And it'll be similar to a tension type headache. I guess that would be the one of the best descriptors for my headache. It does feel like there's someone sort of squeezing, right? It's tension. So I've recently joined a bunch of Facebook groups for stroke uh, folk. And the question came up, is it, common for you to have a headache after a stroke in fact i had a headache after my stroke and i remember asking one of the nurses oh is this common oh no not really problem is this a stroke is an orphan disease now what do i mean by that drug companies will not make money off a stroke right uh for some people that have a stroke they may develop other significant health issues which the medications that have already been produced are effective. Other people are gonna end up with just your generic stroke type issues 
and the medications that have been produced to deal with those issues, be it cholesterol, blood pressure, what have you, um, they're already on the market. Right? There is not going to be a magical stroke drug. So the drug companies, unfortunately, won't make any money off of it. Secondly, we're dealing with your brain. For them to know exactly what happened to my brain or anyone else's brain during your stroke, they're going to have to section it when you're dead. Right? They can do all the tests they want and uh, put you in the machines that go ping and, and make funny noises and shoot radiation into you. That's only going to give you a general indication of what is going on. Right? It's not going to give you definitives. Right? So what's causing my headaches? Is it swelling from the stroke? Is it the site of injury from my stroke? Is it due to the medication? Is it a combination of some of the physical uh, side effects from my stroke and the medication? Is it caused by post-stroke fatigue? Is it caused by uh, vascular impairment? Right? There, there are so many reasons why these headaches could be happening. <clears throat> Great news is you are not alone. Right? One in ten people that have had a stroke, be it ischemic or hemorrhagic. Now, headaches are more common with a hemorrhagic stroke. Yes, that is true. Um, because there is more bleeding into the brain. Uh, there's more swelling. It's a more severe stroke. So headaches are more common with uh, hemorrhagic. That's not to say they don't happen with ischemic or TIA. But they do, but... So, what can be done to fix this? Or remedy your headache? Well, there's a couple of things. One, go talk to your doctor. Right? Um... They should help be able to give you some determination. Is this a brain thing, a medication thing, or both? Uh, if it's a brain thing, is there something they need to do for you? Is there something they can do for you? If it's a medication thing, can they juggle up your meds? If it's a combination of brain and drugs, then they're going to have to do whatever they're going to do. But I know it's debilitating, right? Um, because I've had a headache almost constantly for the first seven to ten days after my stroke I just had a headache um, and then since that it comes and goes uh, depending on my activity level depending on what I'm doing the headache can get worse and then like Sunday it just came on on its own I woke up with the headache I didn't sleep very well and the headache just progressively got worse throughout the day. Um, now, if you have a headache with secondary symptoms of stroke, so you have a headache and you're slurring your speech, you have a headache, you can't raise your arms, you have a headache, you have facial droop, you have a headache, you're stuttering, you have a headache, body weakness, you have a headache, can't stand, right? 911. There's no argument here, right? Um, at that point, you're having another event. Let the doctors figure out what's going on. Now, with the headache comes <laughs> medication. <clears throat> you need to be careful what meds you take um, because of the stroke. So at that point, you, you need to really review with your doctor what medications you should or should not be taking for your stroke, mainly when it comes to the over over the counter, behind the counter variety from your local pharmacy. Right, so if you go down to the drugstore, right, you need to make sure that you're clear with the pharmacist. Hey, I've had a stroke, um, and these are the medications I'm on. Especially if it's one you don't normally deal with, um, right? Because the last thing you want to do is create further complications. Now. In some cases, the headache may be something that you and your physiotherapist can work around. The headache may be something you and your psychologist or, or, or um, counselor or social worker can work around. It, it may be something that could be just stress or anxiety related. Right? However, 
you also need to discount that it's not something structural, right? Um, something vascular, something you and your doctor need to deal with. And once you can rule out, it's not a doctor thing, right? Um, it's a matter of retraining yourself just to get through the headache, right? Or is it caused by anxiety, right? Uh, because you're, you're nervous or anxious about when you go out in the world or have to go out in the world. There's many things that could be causing the headache, many things that can resolve the headache. However, that's the experts need to determine that. Unfortunately, you're just going to have to suck it up. Right? I appreciate it. It's wretched. Um, it's not anything you want to have to deal with because, like I said before, what exactly is causing your headache? Is it post-stroke fatigue? Is it vascular cognitive impairment? Is it the post-stroke pain uh, syndrome, which we'll cover in a later video. Is it anxiety? Is it structural? Is it medication? Is it fill in the blank? Is it some or one or the all of the above? There's so many pieces of that puzzle. You need an expert opinion. And just bear in mind, even then, the experts may not have all the answers. Just think, the experts may not have all the answers, and that's just something you're going to have to learn to accept at times. Because although we know a lot about the brain, there's still a lot we don't know. And we don't know what we don't know kind of thing. Right? Because neurology is messy. So, And we don't know what we don't know, but neurology is messy. So, that being said, just if you happen to have the headaches... Try to journal when you get them, what you were doing. Try to draw some correlations. So when you go to your doctor, you go to your therapist, you go to your uh, physiotherapist, whatever the case may be, you've already got a bit of insight as to what may or may not be causing your, your headaches. Um, is it, like in my case, when I go to do push-ups, or certain things where my body has to go up and down, I get really, really dizzy and the headache can get worse. Um, and that, unfortunately, my neurologist says it's probably a stroke thing. Right? Uh, can I train myself through it? Maybe. Right? Other people, you may be having other issues, but definitely you want to rely upon the opinion of experts. But journal, right? You might want to draw some correlations to, between what happens when. What happens if? It just gives you some more information when you happen to go into your appointments. Um, and just remember, if you happen to have a headache that just magically, bam, comes on, right, and is literally the worst headache of your entire life, or you have a headache with secondary stroke symptoms, right, I have a headache and stuttering, facial droop, arms, smiling, standing, right, any of that, you immediately dial 911, get on the phone with the operator dispatcher, you get the ambulance to your house and you get to the hospital immediately. Right? And on that note, if you happen to like what you've been watching over the past, well, going on three months in a while, in about 16 days, please like, share, subscribe with your friends. If you happen to know someone that's going through uh, the throes of their stroke recovery and, and, and rehabilitation, please recommend the channel to them. Uh, they might get something out of this. And if you happen to notice either in yourself or someone around you the signs or symptoms of a stroke, we've mentioned them a couple of times in this video, so everyone repeat after me. Facial droop, slurring, stuttering speech, inappropriate word usage for situation or context, inability to smile equally or effectively, inability to raise both arms equally or effectively, inability to stand unaided, general body weakness or weakness on one side, please immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple can save a life.